welcome to Azul Restaurant at the Mandarin Oriental Miami. Today we're going to prepare our spring edition of our beef tartare. We use Grand Island beef coming from the Corn Belt of Nebraska, USDA Prime. So we're going to take about four ounces in the bowl, and just any small mixing bowl will do. And then to bind it together, we're going to use a burgundy wine mustard. Burgundy wine mustard is essentially Dijon with Chardonnay and Pinot Noir reduction folded into it. To add that crunch, that bite that you typically get, we like to use Brunoise shallots, have a little bit sweeter flavor as well. And then to give you that kind of like that fatty component, we have a little bit of mayonnaise. You can use as much or as little mayonnaise as you like. Me, I like a little mayonnaise, so I'm going to put some extra in. And just kind of fold it together. Be careful to press it against the bowl so as not to crush the beef, but just fold it in gently. And then to finish, we're going to add a little bit of chiffonade parsley. Now some people will add salt at the end. I've previously added my salt to the mustard, about one tablespoon for every four ounces. So after it's finished, folded it in. Just gonna take it, put it right into the center of a plate. Not pressing it too hard to crush it, but just to shape it a little bit, give it some texture, some finesse. And then to garnish the beef, we like to complement on the flavors that are in it. So we have some spice, we have some fat, we have some crunch. So to add some of that spice and some of that acidity, I use Pinot Noir pickled blueberries. About five pieces should be good for four ounces. A little bit of the juice in there wouldn't hurt as well. I also have fresh Oregon braised mushrooms, braised a little bit of shallots, garlic, Chardonnay white wine. They also have a little bit of Comte cheese. Comte cheese comes from the eastern part of France, very similar to Gruyere Swiss, so you could easily substitute. But I found it at most Whole Foods or Fresh Market stores or any local grocery store near you. About one tablespoon as well for that. Now to complement the flavors of the parsley in the salad, I like to use a bit, little bit of fresh whole leaf Italian flat parsley. A couple leaves. Make it look like a little garden, have fun with it. We also have some petite spicy red mustard greens. Although you may not be able to find these readily, Swiss chard is a good substitute as well. Now to finish the dish, I like to use a little poached quail egg. So you can kind of break it apart, fold the creamy yolk on the inside. I like to put that right on top so people can break it right away as soon as they start eating the dish. Now with any beef tartare, you don't just want to eat a salad of beef and lettuce. I also like to use a little bit of brioche crouton. So here I bought brioche, just cut it into little circles, just kind of place it gently around. Give the plate a little wipe. Here we have our spring edition of Steak Tartare at Azul Restaurant at the Mandarin Oriental Miami.